So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a link, uh, basic link menu in Dreamweaver. Before we can create the link menu, though, let's take a look at what we create on the web. If you have correctly set up your connection in your IS, to your ISP in the Sites Manager in Dreamweaver, you should be able to upload your website OK. So what you want to do to upload your entire site for the first time is to click on the Sites folder and click the Put button. And then it's going to ask you what you want to do. Do you want to put, if you want to put the entire site or not. The reason why it's asking you this is it just wants to confirm that you're going to be overwriting anything that you have already uploaded to the web. So you click OK, and what it does is then uploads all the files that are related to the website so that it can be displayed. After the uh, site upload is complete, open up your web browser and visit your site. Now, if you go to www.yourdomainname.com and you get a blank page or you get an error saying it's unable to resolve or unable to find the file or 404 file not found, there's a good chance that um, you either have a problem with the file name, make sure it's all in lowercase, and it has uh, .html at the end of it. Also, make sure your index file, index page is in the root folder, not in a subdirectory within the root. Also, make sure that you have the settings correct for your your F, your login, which is your username and password, plus the your root folder on your website, because the root folder on your website needs to needs to be consistent with the root folder on your on your local hard drive. So if you if you set up your lo, your root folder incorrectly over the web and you upload your site. When you go to www.yourdomainname.com, if it's not sitting in the correct folder, it will not resolve correctly. So check with your ISP and verify those settings to make sure they're correct. After you've got all your technical issues handled, if there were any, you should be presented with a page that looks similar to what you created in Dreamweaver. And it should look something like this. I say it should be look similar to this and I say similar because the web pages can be rendered in slightly different ways depending on your visitors browser of choice so you will want to view your pages in other browsers besides the one you currently use just to get an idea of how it's going to look not every visitor that comes to your website is going to be using the same browser that you're using right now and if you don't spend time taking a look at and modifying your site to look correctly in all the web browsers it could cause problems for, for other people to be able to see your content correctly and actually make use of your site. So the things that can come up that would cause it to be viewed differently in different browsers, I don't really have time to go into that, but I can say that the best way to keep things consistent is to keep your design simple and don't use proprietary programs um, or proprietary, proprietary technology to format your pages. For instance, if you wanted to use Microsoft Word to format one of your pages, it's not always going to work well on the web. Word's good. Microsoft Word's great for writing for print, but but publishing pages from Word itself, they tend to use proprietary proprietary technology to render sites that isn't always displayed in correctly in different browsers such as uh, besides Internet Explorer. So that's something you just need to be aware of. So our next step is to create a set of links that will allow your visitors to navigate your site. I'm going to use text links for this purpose. You could also add graphical links in. They look better, but just be careful about the size of the graphic images it's itself and the quality as well. First thing we want to do before we add any links is to make a special container in the template file itself that can contain the links. These type of containers are going to be are called div tags or div elements. A div element allows you to divide content into sections that makes it easier to update and change your website. This template uh, actually current, currently uses three divs, one for the uh, header of the page where your, the, the name of your site is located the main content and you'll see the borders around it that's called the container and then finally your the footer of your page what we're going to do is an install a fourth one right below the name of your site it's going to be a separate container 
so that we can add a couple links across the top. Now, you might want to choose to add your links to the right or left of the main content. If this is the case, I suggest you go back and make a new template using a two or three column layout. It would be much easier to add the links that way. So the first thing you want to do is select the div that you want to put you, the new div under. And you go up to Insert, Layout Objects, Div Tag. We're going to insert this tag after the header. So the div tag, our div container is going to go after the header container. And then we also need to give this container um, a name, which is actually called an ID, the div ID. And we're going to name this link menu. And we're also going to create a CSS rule for it. CSS is, as I explained before, is the place where you add all the all the design elements into that the website will load from. So you click a new CSS rule and make sure you select ID applies to only one de div element because this particular design changes we're going to make are only going to apply to the link menu. And then choose a name for it. Make sure the pound is in front of it. And we're just going to name this link menu. And then it asks us it asks us to choose the rule definition. We want to we want to define it in the CSS file we created called whitevision.css and then we want to click OK. The next window will appear allowing you to customize the design elements of this container. There's a lot of different choices that you can make to change the design elements of this container but we're just going to focus on the font and the text of this container itself. So I'm going to select for this, for the link menu, an Arial black font, which is actually a bold font. And I'm going to make the color black. The color isn't so important because once we create, once we change the text words into links, they're going to be blue. And those colors are coming from the CSS file itself for any links that you put in your site. And you want to do that because it's easier to change the link colors whenever you want to. Let's say you want to make